Now, Leon Rose finally did his first public interview with the Knicks media. And low key, this is why a lot of people in the other media outlets are mad at James Dolan all the time and badmouth him is that he has his own media outlet for the Knicks staff, executive players to speak to where they can pretty much control the narrative. And quiet is kept, a lot of teams in the NBA wish that they can do this. But I found it very interesting that Leon Rose spoke about Mitchell Robinson and RJ Barrett being the core to build around. And pay attention right here of how he sounds like when he speaks about the other younger talents on the team. It pretty much sounds like they're just surrounding pieces as he just gives them general compliments. Right now, I look at Mitchell Robinson and RJ, you know, two young core pieces. I look forward to, you know, working with Kevin. I think he's just starting to scratch the surface. Frank Neal Aquina, given the right circumstances, I think can really prosper. And Dennis Smith, that's a special talent right there. He also spoke about the process of finding a new coach right now and how Mike Miller is also involved in that process. He also gave a deadline of when they're gonna make a decision on the head coach and the type of characteristics that they're looking for in the head coach, which was kind of a giveaway that they're looking for someone to develop the team. Just pay close attention to his comments, but also a person that the players know is the one that's gonna dictate everything. Not pretty much he's being dictated to because this next coaching hire is gonna let Knicks fans know exactly where the front office wants to take this team. Either we're gonna be developing guys or we're gonna go after a lot of guys in 2021 and have a more competitive team a lot quicker. We, we're setting it up in two phases. We're having shorter meetings, kind of break the ice with the various uh, candidates and then we're gonna have full uh, full interviews with the candidates. And Mike obviously is one of those candidates. Um, and that's gonna probably, we're anticipating that to go to mid to late July. And uh, hopefully by the end of July, make a decision whether it's to keep Mike or to go in a different direction. We wanna find the, the right leader that can develop our young players as well as hold everyone accountable and take us from development to becoming a perennial winner. We also want somebody that we think that will be collaborative with the front office and, um, you know, someone that when you're in that huddle and you're looking in that coach's eyes, all every player that's looking at him knows that that person is driving the ship and going to get the job done. Now, based off those last comments, if I was to take a guess, I would say the Knicks are looking for a head coach that's more polished, more seasoned veteran coach that has a history of developing players. But the main issue here is what kind of polished coach is willing to take that Knicks job that has a history as being a revolving door of coaches and executives and even players. The only good thing about it is that Whoever takes this job knows that if they sign for at least four years or more, they're going to get paid out for a good portion of the contract while not being employed. <laughs> they're going to take that Fizdale vacation. I'm not sure if you guys seen, man. Fizdale taking nice pictures now. His hair grew back. I didn't even know Fizdale had hair like that. He went from the Jeff Van Gundy stressed out haircut to the Tory Lanez package. Jesus Christ.